Hey plant fam! Welcome back to my channel if you are new here. My name is Jacqueline. This is not my jungle. It's the spare bedroom but I brought some of my jungle in here. I was just filming another video so my begonia crackling Rosie is still in frame because she's beautiful. I mean we're not mad at her right? Anyway so today I'm going to be talking about some plants <laughs> that I'm trying to rescue, essentially. I did a video recently where I showed you four plants that I am currently struggling with, and then I found some more that are dead and dying. So the ones that are just on the struggle bus, we are going to try and rescue today and see how that goes. But there are some that are just straight up dead, and that's depressing. R.I.P. to Pickle Rick. This was a variegated Opuntia and now it is just dead. This is what happens when you have a delicate succulent cacti euphorbia way too close to a grow light and you're not watering it enough. So this was the corn cob euphorbia and now it's dead and that's fine. Those <laughs> These are going to get thrown in the trash as well as my money tree that for some reason just decided to kick the bucket. It was fine like a week ago and this is what it looked like today. Like I don't know this just oh um, you know what it feels rotted. Yeah this feels rotted. I think I may have overwatered it or I did that thing where I waited too long to water it and the roots shriveled up and then when I did water it it just couldn't handle the amount of water that I gave it because the roots were all shriveled up. So those are going to get tossed, but the ones that I do want to try and save today are the plants that I showed you in my last video. So I have this really sad ficus that I'm just going to remove these leaves off of, and I'm going to repot this stump. Oh wait, maybe I'm not. This feels rotted too. Damn it. It didn't feel rotted when I filmed the video, so I thought maybe if I just repotted the stump into something better that it would regrow leaves because ficus tend to do that as long as the roots and everything are happy, but this feels totally... Okay, you're going in the dead pile. That's fine. The ones that I'm really focused on trying to save today are this Black Pagoda lipstick plant. As you can see, she's not thrilled. She tends to get neglected and she's just really bare up here. So I want to get in there and take all of these like nice healthy vines out and I'm actually going to put her in one of these hanging containers that I like. So I thought this would look nice in here and then that way I can hang it in a window where it's going to get better light and be happier. Plus the undersides of these leaves are the real showstopper. So when you have it hanging it looks nice because you can actually see the undersides of the leaves they have this like maroon coloring to the backs of them these ones are probably looking really sad because they don't get that much sun but you done dropping leaves girl what are you doing but it's fine everything is fine which definitely needs better soil and then i have my neon philodendron here and that's in the pot with no drainage everybody freaked out about you're killing it in that pot well you know what fine it's gonna go into a pot with drainage then are you happy are you happy so i guess those are the two plants we're gonna focus on today is trying to rescue these not looking great right not looking great i think we'll do this one first because it's easier i have this little pot oh. oh yeah that'll look cute okay that's fine that works for me so I have my bucket of dirt here from the next gardener and I am going to fill this container up with some new dirt it's nice and fluffy partially filled up and then I'm just going to place these in here in a manner in which they don't look like crap. Hopefully I can rescue this plant because I really like it. I just, you know, you get to a point sometimes with plants where you're like, Ugh, 
I'm so tired of you not doing well. I don't even know if I have the energy to try and save you, but we're gonna do it. Hopefully, I really struggle with these. I don't wanna start them, restart them in water. So hopefully we can just toss them in here and it'll be happy. Okay, so arguably maybe a little too much soil. I'm just gonna gently press down to make sure they're all situated in there right. And that's that. I'm gonna water her obviously and hopefully she's gonna bounce back and be happier in here than you know she was in the one with no drainage so this is just the catch pot so I'll be able to water her directly into here as well that should work out just fine for me and hopefully she won't get neglected I just I find the neon philodendron to be much thirstier and pickier than the Brazil. The Brazil's pretty thirsty too. I feel like that chick always needs a drink and I'm just totally over her. So that is that. She's cute. Not mad at that. Not mad at that. But then this is the one that's going to be the real project. So I'm just going to empty out her dirt. Her soil is like really compact and gross so she probably wasn't really absorbing a lot of the water that I was giving her which is probably adding to the issue unfortunately this is what we have left I'm gonna have to go through and make sure that there aren't any vines in here that are just dead like these ones they're just done throw those out Apologize for my around the house shorts. These roots are so dry. Oh my God, girl. I am so sorry that I let you get this dry. So the rest of this looks okay here. Some of it needs to be trimmed. Some of these dead vines for sure. But otherwise she looks ready to go in here. So I'm gonna put some dirt. didn't want to lose the shape of this plant so I'm trying to keep it kind of like in a bundle because I tend to get annoyed with each vine if I try to replant it individually so I'm just going to gently push down on this add a little more to the top sometimes with plants that don't have great roots you want to make sure you're watering it a little bit more frequently just to help encourage those roots to grow and then, you know, from there, once it's more established, you water it regular again. But this babe is definitely thirsty, so I'm going to have to keep an eye on her and be really cautious about the amount of water that I'm giving her. So otherwise, she looks pretty stinking cute in this. She's not aesthetically looking like her best right now, which needs to be styled. I tend to plant them facing you guys instead of facing me and then I can't see. So this stem is really bare and long so I'm going to actually cut it back and propagate it. Get rid of some of these dead pieces. Definitely going to be looking a little sad and bare for, for some time before she finds her happy again. <laughs> I feel you girl, I feel you. But hopefully she will bounce back and start living her best life soon. She doesn't look bad, she's cute, she's cute. So I don't know exactly how I'm gonna have her hanging, but I'm glad of things in here. Okay, not bad, not bad. She's gonna need a little zhuzh. Oops, yeah, no, that one I, I cut cut it back too much damn it I'm gonna have to cut that and propagate that now too uh, hopefully we can have success propagating that because I'm not always the best at propagating lipstick plants but 
that's her. She's not looking bad. Could definitely be worse. I mean, it's definitely a downsize from the massive plant that she was when I bought her. But I, I only paid like $12 or $15 for her, I think, if not less than that. So it's fine. She'll bounce back just like this one hopefully will. And yeah, that's it for this video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed watching me try and rescue these plants. And if you do, then we'll do more kind of like plant rescue, emergency room, operation. Oh my god, I hated that game when I was a kid. I'm so shaky and it would just buzz at me all the time and I would get irritated. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna go. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, leave me a lipstick emoji in honor of my black pagoda lipstick plant and a little black heart. Lipstick, black heart, or black pagoda lipstick plant. I appreciate you, fam, and I will see you in the next one.